Welcome everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrap Me Quick Designs and today I'm going to try to answer some questions that you guys are always asking me. Where can, you, where can I find fonts? Where can I find fonts that I know it's okay for me to use if I make projects to sell? Where can I find graphics that will help me make projects? Where can I find inspiration for working on different projects? Where can I find sublimation files? Where can I find embroidery files or sewing files? I get asked that all the time and today I'm going to answer that and share with you my number one thing where I go and it is at Creative Fabrica. So let's talk about Creative Fabrica. It is a online site that offers everything under the sun you could possibly think of. They're a site that I trust. I've been using them for a while. I do have, it is a subscription site, but you can find some free resources there. You can also find some amazing deals. And we're going to talk about that today as well. The one thing that everybody's always asking me is, where can I find things that I know that I can use and trust to download from? I totally trust Creative Fabrica. I've never had a problem with any of their files when I've downloaded them. They have worked perfectly. I only want to share the best with you guys. When you're on their home page, you'll see their screen here. They have this thing called Trending Now on the front page. So this is just a brief little hint of all the types of things you can find on their site. So there's, there's fonts and graphics and crafts and embroidery and bundles. And I could go on and on and on, and I probably will. I'll show you some things. But that's what you're going to see on this front page. So this isn't all they have, guys. Okay. Now, the one thing I did want to take a moment to talk about, and then we're going to go into looking at the site, is they have this amazing deal right now. If you are new to Creative Fabrica, you have never signed up with them before, you can get access to everything on their site for $1. Yep, $1. That's all it's going to cost you to give Creative Fabrica a try. And guess what? They have 5 million images, graphics, fonts on their site. And you could download as much as you want in that 7 days. I'm not kidding. I've already asked. I've confirmed. I've verified with them that you can download as much as you want and use it for $1. It's only going to cost you a dollar. At the end of that 7 days, if you decide that you do not want to continue the subscription with them, which by the way is only $19 a month, you just want to try this. If you're brand new to Creative Fabrica, it doesn't matter where you live in the world because all you get access to all of this no matter where you live. The other thing is everybody gets the commercial use license for everything you download. So if you are a small business owner and you have decided that you are selling on Etsy, you're, you want to make, you are a hand maker, you want to make projects and to sell them at craft shows or in the uh, Facebook marketplace in your neighborhood or wherever. If you use anything from the Creative Fabric site, it comes with a commercial license. So that means you have approval already to use those designs in your projects. You can sell the projects and products that you make using that file. Same thing with the fonts. We have to be super careful when you're downloading fonts from places because if you're going to use them in a project that you're going to be selling to somebody, you have to have the commercial license. You get seven days full access for only one dollar if you're brand new to Creative Fabrica. I've got a link in the description below the video. Please use that link. It lets Creative Fabrica know that you found out about them from me. Now that you know that they have this amazing deal, let's go look at what all is included. We're going to go over to Creative Fabrica site. We are back here to the main screen and as you can see here are like all the latest trending things are. So if you're looking for something, usually it's whatever is, uh, you know, season, season driven. Um, so falls out there, Halloween's out there. You'll start seeing the Christmas stuff popping up. There's fonts. Now this trending right now section has it all these are checked. So there's fonts and graphics and crafts and embroidery and bundles. Okay. If you're only looking for current fonts, maybe you just want to look at some new fonts. I would just unclick these other ones here like this. And now it's going to list all the fonts, all the new trending fonts right now. So you'll see a lot that are um, specific to the holidays. So there's some really fun Halloween ones if you're looking for that. Um, but you'll go through and you'll see that this is kind of the, tr the new latest trending fonts. Now, let's say that you wanted to pick Haley. Now, I'm... I have a subscription, but I'm logged in incognito so that you guys see what you, 
what you would normally see when you log in if you don't have a subscription so if you have a subscription that you wouldn't see any pricing here it would just anytime you're looking at the fonts the great thing about this is that when you pick a font they have a way for you to look to see what that font would look like if you used it so there's little pictures here that they show you they also have here where what it looks like here on the bottom so as you scroll through you can kind of see what does it look like in all caps what does it look like in lowercase does it have numbers does it have punctuation does it have you know anything anything you need to know about that font is going to you'll be able to see that before you download it which i think is awesome um the other thing is all of them have the commercial license right and new fonts are added daily if if you like haley uh, font this are these are more fonts from that same designer so if you really liked that font and you're thinking oh I'd like some more stuff by here because I like the way this looks they actually even give you a little pop-up here but the fonts it's really cool the other thing is besides that front page there there is a top menu here that goes across let's take a look at that so here's fonts you click the font drop down oh my gosh if you're looking for a script font you can sort it by that and just look at script fonts so as you can see here there are some beautiful script fonts if you get the one dollar access subscription you can download as many of these as you want during that seven days for free install them on your computer and you are good to go there are some incredible fonts on here i've downloaded a bunch of these i use them in my projects i love them they're so great now what i did want to mention is with fonts everybody's asked i downloaded this font to my laptop but now i'm working on my i'm working on my off my iphone and i don't see those fonts in design space or i don't see those fonts on my device well the problem is is that it's specific when you're using different devices your fonts are specific to that device okay not what what fonts were installed on my laptop are not the same fonts that were installed on my iphone okay or my ipad or whatever other device i'm using so you do have to download fonts specific to that device so let's say i liked Haley and i downloaded it to my computer and i installed it on my computer because you know it comes in a download folder you have to un uh, you know unzip it and then you install it on your computer and then the next time you log into design space you you will see it when I'm on my laptop, right? I'll see it. But if I want to use that same font from on my phone, I would need to be able to download it onto my phone and unzip it and install it on my phone to be able to see it when in design space or to use it on my iPhone. So now what I want to show you is how to find free fonts yes there's free fonts so over here after we've looked so here's where those fonts are listed and then if you go across the little menu bar here you see the word freebie when you click on freebies you're going to come up with freebies for crafters and designers so that's the perfect place for you right this is just a list of all the freebies so you'll see that it's just a mix of things okay but if you're looking for a font they have it broken down into fonts they have free svgs graphics embroidery and free classes okay we're going to look at free fonts so i'm going to click on free fonts and now it lets you know free fonts for commercial use grab these for free uh, always including our commercial license some of the freebies sometimes go away so if you see something you want make sure you get it right then because you may come back a few weeks from now and that one is no longer free so i'm going to show you how i download it and then how it gets over into design space and then i'm going to make a quick project in design space to show you how you would use that font and then i will show you my final project i'm just scrolling through looking at all these uh, a lot of these i've already downloaded so i'm looking for one i haven't downloaded yet there's a project i have in mind that i want to work on and i need a font that looks like this so it's called hollow weekend i'm going to pick this one now I want to show you so when you're in the freebie fonts and you pick a font you still have those pictures here that show you a little bit about what that font would look like here on the right where it says I can download it for free this button here is where you want to download it tells you it includes the commercial license etc 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 it also shows you over here what it's compatible with okay so this lets you know this font can be used on windows or apple or unix 
Um, you can also convert it to a web font. We don't need web fonts. We're going doing a cutting font. And it's compatible with Cricut and it's compatible with Silhouette and other cutting machines. So that's what you're looking for when you look at a font to make sure it's going to be a cutting font. Another thing I wanted to show you on this page is they have some ins installation instructions here, so it tells you how to install it on Windows if you need trouble, if you need help with that. It's also got how to install it on Macs. Okay, so if you ever get confused and you don't remember, this is a great place. It's on all of the fonts. You'll be able to find this installation guide there. Now there's another one here where it says View More Installation Guides. So we're going to click on that, and they have this Ultimate Font Guide which talks about everything fonts. So if you ever get confused about fonts, this is a great place to come look. And it's free for you to look at it. And it's got directions. So there's articles that have been written that let you know how to un uninstall and remove fonts in Windows and on a Mac. Uh, there's various things here, but one of the things I wanted to show you was they do have an article on how to install a font on an iPhone or an iPad. Back to free fonts. And now I'm going to show you Hollow Weekend. So I'm going to go to Hollow Weekend and I'm going to download this. And what it's going to do, it's going to go down into the system tray. I'm working on a Windows laptop right now and it will have downloaded it in my system tray here. You'll see it, okay? Depending upon what operating system you're on or what device you're on, yours is going to download somewhere on your device. You need to know where things download onto your device. So it'll download to that location. Once we've got this, we've got everything downloaded. And then we have a zip file here. So I'm going to open this up. I need to show it in my down because it goes to my downloads folder. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to copy it. So I'm taking this and I need to put it where I keep my fonts. Go to where I store my fonts on my computer, okay, or device, whatever device you're on. So I have a fonts folder. And then I'm just going to right click and I'm going to paste that folder into my fonts folder, okay. And here is the one that I just did. So that is, this is Hollow Weekend. That's the one that we just got. And then you see that it's a zip folder and the folder has a zipper on the front of it. I'm just going to right click because I'm in Windows. You may do this differently depending upon what you're on. But all I have to do is right click and I'm going to say extract all. It's going to pop up this window because what it's doing is it's unzipping that folder so that I can then see the files within that folder. Once it's done that, then I'm going to go up and find where the open folder is. All a weekend. So now you have a folder with that name but no zip on it. I'm going to open that up and there is a font and I'm just double clicked and now it opens it up and I get a window that asks do I want to install this font. Yes I want to install this font. I could also print this page out if I want to. If I want to print it out and keep a log of all the fonts that I have I could do that from here. But right now I just want to install it. So I'm installing it on my computer because I'm working on my laptop. So that's where I'm installing this. Now if I want to also have access to this on my iPhone, I would need to go through the steps to download it to my iPhone. So it installs. And then what we need to do is we're going to go over and we're going to go down to design space. Right, And I was working on a project earlier so I'm going to get out of this I need to log out, so you do need to quit. Like I was doing a project earlier in Design Space, I need to quit out of Design Space, and then I'm going to have to go back in. It'll take a second because it's got to open back up. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to come over here to New Project, and then I'm going to come over here to Text. I'm going to click on Text. Now, any fonts you download to the compute to your device are co considered system fonts. So you'll need to find your font and up here in the top menu where you see font, you're going to drop down that little box and Cricut, if you haven't seen this yet, Cricut just completely redid how this works. So I have a whole video on that if y'all need more info. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to system font and then I'm going to type in Paula. And here is that font that I just downloaded. Okay, so here's Hollow Weekend. So that's how easy it is. Now I have this, and I'll just show you real quick how easy it is to design with this. I need a shape. 
because I'm going to make a quick sign. Sign is seven and a half. It's a square. It's a little square sign I'm going to make. Make this white. Okay, so now I have some text. Okay. And I'm going to say, hello, pumpkin. And then I can I can resize it so I can come up here. I can either grab the handles here and pull it in, which is what I usually prefer to do just because it's easier. Making sure that I've got that. So hello pumpkin. And then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to change this so I'm going to do this in just so I know what color I'm going to cut it in. So I'm going to cut it in kind of this darker orange color. And then I want to add an image. Um, let's see, I just want to look for a pumpkin. So I'm just doing an image search in design space and I'm going to pick this pumpkin. I will bring this in. Move this up a little bit. I can make this pumpkin smaller. And then I'm going to duplicate it. And make this one a little bit smaller than that one. That's as easy as getting the font in there. I've designed a project. I'm going to save my project as Hello Pumpkin. I can pick a category. This is a home decor thing I'm working on. So I'm just going to pick that and say save. Then I'm going to send this to my Cricut to cut this out. I'm going to put the project together, but I'll show you the finished project. This was just showing you about how easy it is to work with the freebie font. Let's talk about some of the other categories real quick. So there is a graphics area, and so there are 3D SVG files. We're gonna look at those. Here, you're gonna find things. They have some subcategories here for you, so if you're trying to find something specific, it's easy to find. Look, they've got Christmas card bundles. They've got ornaments. They've got Christmas Village 3D layer. They, they add new 3D SVGs in here all the time, guys. So it's such a great place to come, and um, there's a lot of things here. So there are even projects Projects that are um, to use with your Glowforge or use with your Cricut or your Silhouette or whatever. These are SVG files. Another thing I wanted to show you is if you are a teacher or you are a homeschooler or you're just a stay-at-home mom with young kids and you're looking for busy work for them, you can come out here to the worksheets and teaching materials and there are a ton of resources for you to use. They're, and they are separated by grade or age. So that is very helpful. And this would be a great resource to give you some supplemental things to use. Product mockups is another thing. Product mockups mock are actually photos that somebody else has taken, but they leave a blank image where you would put your picture of your product on it. And then you could use that image, like if you're doing Facebook ads or you're doing, or you're putting it in your Etsy shop or anything like that. There's all kinds of crafts that you can make. There's needlework. So some of y'all are into have embroidery machines. You, there's embroidery machines. There's knitting patterns, crochet patterns, cross stitch patterns, uh, quilt patterns, and sewing patterns. So if you're more into that type of thing, you have access to all of that as well. They also offer um, some classes, online classes here. So there's quilt quilting, embroidery, sewing, and there's even some Cricut classes. There's a whole special thing about being a teacher that they have teacher resources. I'm not going to get into that right now, but there's that for you to explore as well. They also have Font Cloud, which is their online font holder, basically. And if you download your fonts and then you want to install them in their Font Cloud, it allows you to be able to look at all of your fonts in one place. It's very cool. They do discount deals as well, and then they do daily gifts. Daily gifts are special value type things, and you see how easy it is to navigate through here. It's really, I'm excited to share with you the Creative Fabrica site, because it is a trusted resource that I do recommend to people all the time. Right now, I have that special $1 deal is going on. I Like I said, I have a link in the subscription of the video. Please use my link if you want to try this out for only $1 for seven days. If you have any questions about the Creative Fabrica site, or you have questions about using images or whatever, hopefully the tips that I've shared with you today have helped you. As usual, happy crafting, and I hope to see you again soon.